Okay, I'm back. Check this out. Hip hop takes action. It's the end of the show. Good, I told you. Well, here's the thing, though. You know who this guy is. We already talked to him. And you know what? You know who this guy is? If you don't know who this guy is, this the guy that closed the show. So, I'm going to be a professional here because I wasn't professional before. Somebody got on me about that, so we're going to be professional today. Brother Ali, you coming out? Yeah. What do you want to say about hip hop action here at the Varsity Den? And what do you want to say to people who see hip hop in a different light and what they should? Um, well, I came here because I'm, I'm great friends with Nick Muhammad. Okay. Yeah. This guy right there. Um, Mastermind, aka New Man. You know my last name is N E W M A N. New. You know this dude came up with that just to kind of help me out because yeah. I couldn't say my connection to my too much. Yet. Oh, God. No, we good now. This is dope. 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 but it worked out. That's the energy in the world. So, so I mean, I, I think that um, I mean, I'm for people being more community minded, okay. and caring more, and doing more things together, and just having more togetherness. I think that we have a spiritual problem, man, where we see our, we've been convinced to see ourselves as individuals. Right. And that's really all, that all of our power is in togetherness. And um, because we're so much in our own world, and just like, you know, what, what shows we're watching and what toys we're buying ourselves, right. you know, um, I think that that's, we just, all of, all of our power and just all of our joy in life is gone, man, because we're just not connected to each other. That's what I believe. And I think that's why we all like music so much. Because we get that thing that we used to get probably from church. Where like people would go and be together, clap and all that stuff. And um, we don't have that anymore. And so like, I think that music's an excuse to go and just, just do something together. And actually just bump into each other, you know. And um, look at each other's girlfriend's butt, stuff like that. <laughs> hey, no, I'm just playing. That's, that's, part of, that's part of having a joy of your time. Be together and stuff like that. Yeah, but I'm saying, so to me, politics is like, it's kind of like, um, unfortunately, one of those necessary evils. Right. And, um, but I think that people becoming more involved in politics hopefully could lead to, because politics is kind of like a symbol for community life. Right. You know what I mean? Um, we got people like, like, uh, like Nick Muhammad, like Mastermind, who understand that politics really, I, I think he's involved in politics because he's trying to get more resources to oppress people to the community that we care about, you know what I mean? But when kids come out, whether they're part of the privileged class or the oppressed class, when kids come out and get involved, I think it's a symbol in their mind of being involved with the rest of the people. You know what I mean? And right. hopefully it'll, it'll like cause some kind of, um, it'll start the habit of just being involved in our collective life a little bit. Just show it up, though. just be the part of it. When you talked about on the stage about how things are with you, you had a great life. How has that hip hop transcended like to other parts of the country or other parts of the world that you go in and you speak about it? Mm -hmm. How they receive you and what do they believe about America's hip hop and how it influenced them? Um, well, I mean, hip hop has like grown into so many different areas, you know what I mean? which is what it was supposed to do. And there's like all all different types of hip hop. Like liter literally, every group of people has their own hip hop now. And um, well, I come from a time, I think all three of us come from a time when um, if you were involved in hip hop, you liked all of it. You know what I mean? Like, you, like you'll be at a party or even at a show and see Ghetto Boys and Public Enemy and Kid and Play. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whereas like nowadays, if you like Kid and Play, you would not kick it with people that, that listen to the Ghetto Boys. Right. And if you listen to Public Enemy, you would be judging everybody else. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Whereas there was a time when hip hop was a community thing. And I still see it that way. So even if it goes someplace that I'm not familiar with, like, you know, this frat boy rap now. Frat boy rap. Frat, got, you know, like, <laughs> you know, middle class dudes that go to college, that they have their own rap. Wow. And some of the dudes are like really talented. You know what I mean? Okay. And even though that doesn't speak to my specific situation, I respect and appreciate the fact that hip hop is going there. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of people get really mad when they just look at the part of hip hop that the media is making money on. And it is the only problem. The only and that, I don't really that doesn't bother me. The only bad part about it is that that's all the kids are ever shown. You know what I mean? And that part that's the only fucked up part about it. Like I'm not mad that there's Rick Ross and Ti and Lil Wayne. I actually like all of them very much. But 
it's it's only a problem because kids don't know that there's dead press. And kids don't know that there's mercs and kids don't know that there's you know what I mean? That's the only bad part about it. But um I think that no nobody ever in the history of the world has gone through what the black man in America has gone through. It's a very it's a peculiar type of oppression that never existed before. You know, like every science right. progresses over time. Right. So like, you know, they had the car that you crank up <laughs> and then they then they get the battery. Right. And then they get the ignition key, switch yeah. over. So like what happened in our country was is like some brand new shit that never existed before. Like never before did anybody a lot of people had to work for other people, but nobody ever lost their name and their religion and their language and their family ties and their history and nobody ever lost all those human things before. And um, you know how like how Stevie Wonder can't sing, but he can hear like a bitch, you know, like a mother, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like because he or because he can't see. I said sing. Right. Yeah. He can't see. I'm gonna say he can't see was, it. Look at that. Like, yeah, he can't sing. Like, no. But I just like you all tied together eventually. Yeah, he can't you. see. Right. But he can <laughs> hear and like his expression of the vibration of sound. I think that the way when you hear him sing, you know that he's literally feeling the vibration of the music. Right, right. You know what I mean? He's like the dude that made vibrato the hot shit to do. <laughs> Everybody doing them runs and stuff. Right. Like I really think he it's, from, it's from church, but like Stevie's a guy that really made that the thing to do. But um you know like when, when you don't have the use of certain things that as a human being that you normally would, right. your other your other muscles in order for you to survive, your other muscles have to become stronger. And so for a group of people to lose everything, worldly, and to literally have nothing left, including your own name and your own language and your own body. Right. You, the soul, the human soul, is like all the way turned, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like right. the soul and, the, and the, its ability to express itself is, uh, is like stronger than it's ever been, maybe ever in the history of the world. You know what I mean? Right. And um, that's come out in so many different parts of American culture. Like basically all of them, all of American music comes from out of that. You know what I mean? And it's just like America, the mainstream, just kind of like grabs certain things during its progression, but from like spiritual songs, work songs, to when it split and became the blues and gospel. <laughs> right. Whereas like the blues and the gospel were the same music, but because of the oppression that people were under, they couldn't see it as the same. They thought you were the same for God or the devil. Right. It split. And so people, you know, mainstream society picked up some of that and were like, oh, we like this. And so they made a branch off of it. And then it turned into the blues and turned into rock and roll. And, and mainstream society take a little something out of that and play with that for a little while. Okay. And then turn into jazz and, you know. Yeah. And the thing with the thing with, with, with rap, though, man, is that the, it's the, it, the, um, the people who created it are still the most prominent voices. It was like the first time that ever happened. Right. You know, you, usually, um, usually the mainstream society will steal it before the the world gets to hear it. Right. Well, somebody fucked up and let black folks be people's first exposure to rap. <laughs> and now, you, now you can never take that back. Like, oh amazing. man, we didn't need like, that man, to should have jumped on that one a little earlier. If you uh, really got that one for free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got that one for free. Um, but how about this thing? It's uh, but just to, just to finish. But um, the power of that has spread all over the world. You know what I mean? And. Um, and I, I, re I personally think that the future of hip hop, like in terms of its tool, for, you don't have to have anything. You literally can have nothing and make hip hop music and just perform hip hop music and just create hip hop music. And it's, it's the perfect voice, the most perfect, just like slavery advanced over the years, human expression advanced to meet it. And so like with hip hop, you literally don't need to have a guitar. You don't need to have anything other than yourself. And um, so it's the ultimate tool for oppressed people to, to, to be creative and to be together and to be heard. And so I think that um, Africa and the Middle East are gonna definitely end up being like the leaders in terms of what's really going on in rap. Because they need it more than anybody else. They both have rhythmic traditions in their, in their music. You know what I mean? They're, they're not being heard. Nobody's hearing their stories. And even if you care, even if you try to hear their stories, you don't really know what's going on in Africa and the Middle East. So I think that um, that they're going to end up making the most incredible shit ever. All it's going to take is a couple people to break through and show the world the the pot of gold that, that, that exists there. 
and then that's gonna it's gonna be amazing and it's all gonna it's all gonna be um the power of the human soul that was forced to grow out of the worst human conditions in the face of the world and how can that happen with nothing yeah